girls, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to make like a kind of full face first impressions uh, with some things I bought that I already showed you on my haul. So if you want to see my reactions and everything, just keep on watching. For my foundation, I'm going to use a new one. Actually, I found this one in my local drugstore. Uh, I want to uh, remind you that I live in Mexico, so I was actually looking for the Maybelline Fit Me or, or I don't know, just that foundation. And I found this one and I don't know, I mean, I don't know what... I don't know if it's the same or not, it's called Supernatural and so I don't know if it's the same but I'm going to try it and I bought the color 3, uh, 310 which is some beige, actually I only found 4 shades, uh, uh, the other 3 shades were lighter and I was like okay I hope I'm some beige, so I'm going to open it and ah it's like a volcano what the hell okay so i'm going to put a bit on my hand it's so liquidy like not that liquidy as the nyx foundation but uh it's i mean it's a bit liquidy so i'm going to use like i don't know i think it's too much but this exploded like I don't like this thingy because it explodes like what the okay so I'm going to uh, make the same I made with the wet and wild I don't like using uh, primers when I'm actually trying new foundations because maybe the primer uh, can like um, modify the result so I'm watching down there because I have my mirror there. So I'm going to start blending it with a few taps. Uh, usually I don't wear a lot of foundation because I really like uh, more like a natural look. You know, I have always uh, thought that makeup is for embracing your inner view and outer of course beauty not for uh, having like a mask and you know like feeling you're someone else because you like transform like crazy so um, as I can see it actually it's actually my color and let me take my mirror so I really like the finish, uh, definitely it's like light to medium coverage, like you can see like my tiny marks I have here and you can also see like the redness and like my dark circle over here, so, but so far so good actually, I really like this, I was kind of scared because this foundation says that it's my it mattifies and like uh, banish pores which is true because actually I cannot see like my pores like they are not completely erased but nearly erased like I'm so shocked and I don't know I think I made a good decision buying it because I was scared that because it says mattifies I was thinking that it was going to be like the L'Oreal uh, Pro Infallible, oh no, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte uh, foundation because that matte, I don't like it. It's just like matte, but like dry matte, and I really like this um, like semi matte, a bit dewy uh, finish. So now I'm going to make my eyes. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. Uh, concealer and it's in the shade light medium and I I like to only uh, give it like one spot because we are not 
going to make like a very, uh, you know, like a very uh, fierce look. So I'm going to make a very, very, very soft look because actually today I'm not going to make anything. Today is uh, Sunday, Sunday fun day. <laughs> So now we got the primer and I'm going to use for this look my new palette which is, well it's not new but for me it's new like I am discovering it and it's the CoverGirl True Naked Roses. Actually I really, uh, I'm into these colors like right now, like I'm going to, to take out the little spongy thingy because they are so useless. And here's the palette. I really like it because it has like a very... I don't know if the camera is picking up the colors right. I think the camera is picking them like uh, lighter than they are. But actually they have like a pretty nice uh, pink shades. So uh, first for uh, like setting my, my concealer I'm going to use this shade right here. And I'm going to tap... And I'm going to spread that color so we're going to have like a white canvas and it's going to be more easy to blend. Now with the same brush I'm going to use... Uh, 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 I think I'm going to use a bit of this one, like the this, this third one. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be very um, noticing the shade. If not, I'm going to change color. So I'm going to use it on my crease. And yeah, it's a bit light. So I'm going to use the, the fifth color in the palette, which is this one. So I'm going to use a bit of that one and yeah now we're talking yeah now it's better so what did you guys think about the uh, the final episode of Game of Thrones I mean I am so shocked and I cannot wait like for for the next season. I heard that maybe it's going to be delayed until uh, 2019. I mean, I cannot wait until then, like... Oh, oh it's going to be like a nightmare. I don't know, I just don't want to... to... I mean... It's so, like... It hurts! Like, waiting a lot, it hurts! So now we're... We, are, we already have our uh, pink crease color and I'm going to use another brush for the corners. So I'm going to use this pointed brush and I'm going to use this shade over here because this is like um, so sparkly. I don't know if I want to use that. Well, yeah, let's, let's use this one. This one right here, it's not that um, dark. And we're going to tap it in the corner. And maybe I have to get more. Yeah. So I'm going to get more. Oh yeah, now we're talking. So first I like to give like taps over here and then blend it, like almost all over. So now we got a little bit of depth in our eyes. I'm going to use this flat brush and I'm going to use this shade over here, this one, it's like a very... Uh, like kind of rose gold uh, shade so I'm going to tap it over here just to highlight the look 
and like to make it uh, like um, pop but pop still wearable you know like also you can actually transform this look and make it more smoky and you can use it on nights like if you're having like a, I don't know a date or maybe you're going to a club you only have to make it more smoky let me know if you would like to to make me uh, to make you some videos like um, I looks uh, from day turning them to night I think uh, they can be so interesting I don't know I I guess <laughs> so for now we're going to leave the eyes right there and I'm going to use a bit of concealer on my uh, dark circles because I had a little bit of trouble um, sleeping and what I like to do is with uh, sorry with this finger or this one uh, like to tap and to really distribute the color why I didn't do this uh, after sorry like before the the um, the eyeshadow look the reason is because if you have fallouts and you already have your concealer the powder is going to like stick over there so now I'm going to use my Wet and Wild Mega blah, 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 Wet and Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour thingy, this, and I'm going to use the Jello shade because this will help me to um, to really set in place my concealer. You have to be careful that you don't have like lines. Uh, in your concealer or creasing because then you're going to set your lines and creases and it's going to look kind of weird so as you can see I really like this uh, powder because it it really gives like light to this part so it's better and uh, it's easier like to you know like to make more definition to your face so now that that is set, I'm going to set all my face. Sorry, I was looking for my fluffy brush and I'm going to use the NYX HD Finishing Powder. It's this one. Uh, so I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to put it all over my face because I really want to set my foundation um I mean this one isn't new neither my mega glow contour palette from when a while but it's still a uh, drugstore so we're good and I'm going to use a little bit more in my nose because I wear glasses so uh you really have to focus on set here your foundation so you're not going like to peel off your foundation with glasses I'm so sorry I own I I'm wearing my bronzer my blush and a bit of highlighter because I don't have these products like for first impressions actually but if you wanted to know uh, for bronzer I use my hula for the highlight, I am wearing the NYX Strobe of Genius palette, which is this one right here. And I use the shade, like the pinkest shade, which is this one. And uh, for blush, I am wearing Dandelion with uh, Rockatour. <laughs> so, uh, we can move on with the things that we want to try. So, uh, I am going to go back to the eyes because I'm going to do my waterline and I'm going to take the same shade we used for the crease but we are going to put it in the lower part of the eye so we can like make you know like the look to really um, like to be one like not for being uh, like an incomplete look so we're going to use the same uh, I'm not wearing a lot 
so I'm just wearing a tiny bit and with the same brush I'm going to use the darker shade I used and I'm going to put it right in the corner so uh, that way we are going to have the bright color over here and the dark color in the corner so it's going to look like a more um, you know like in sync look so actually I am pretty happy with this palette because uh, I mean it, the pigmentation it's not as crazy as maybe having a Morphe palette or something but it definitely works and I mean we made like a very subtle pink look uh, you can go to school like this or work uh, definitely is a look that I would um, use for work so yeah um, now we're going to try the things for the uh, brows and I'm going to use my NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour, which is this little pencil. So first of all, I'm going to use my spoolie for uh, brushing my brows. So I'm going to brush them and to give them like, you know, like the shape I want. I definitely should have where my knee my Mickey Mouse band for keeping my hair out of my face. Didn't think about it, I'm sorry. <laughs> so first of all I'm going to start with the brown uh, thingy for the brows and wow this is so pigmented like I am I am not actually like pressing the pencil and it's making some like lines like with this is so easy to shape your eyebrow I think I have a new favorite yeah so actually I don't know if you can tell but I am I am not pressing that hard wow I'm I'm really liking this pencil because I mean I don't have I don't like having like very harsh brows like in the shape like looking kind of fake so I think this really uh, helps because I think they don't look fake like what do you think do they look fake um, now I'm going to go back to this pulley and I'm going to brush them again a little bit so uh, if there's a bit of product it's going to distribute and yeah I'm liking this pencil I don't remember the price but wasn't that uh, you know it wasn't that expensive like it's NYX and now I'm going to use the highlight part, which is the thingy. I mean, if you have concealer, you can actually work with concealer, but I find this easier because it's like a pencil and you only like draw in your highest part of the brow. So then what I like to do is like dragging all the product like down so you are going like to highlight all your brow I think we are done I am liking a lot my brows so I am pretty happy with this product I recommend you so again it's the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour Brow, sorry <laughs> Uh. Now for the eyeliner, I'm going to use the Maybelline New Master Precise by Eye Studio Ink Pen Liner, which is this one. I can't remember the price, like the exact price of this thingy, but I hope it's uh, cool. So it's the Master Precise by Eye Studio in color black. So, oh, that's pointy. So I hope this works as I am wondering because, you know, I don't have money like to buy the Kat Von D ink line eyeliner. Like, that's crazy. 
So let's see the pigment. Oh wow. So so as I was saying, I I hope this not to crack because I am really liking the application, the color, the fine tip like and actually the tip it's not that soft so it's easy to really create like the wing and I am having some troubles like to really feel between my lashes and the line because it's so thin this thingy and also it dries so fast. Now for my lashes, I'm going to use the Voluminous, blah, blah, Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. Um, I'm so excited like to be trying this mascara because here in Mexico you cannot find it. I'm not going to curl my lashes because I want to see how the mascara by itself curls my lashes. So if you want to have a easier application in any mascara, you can look, you can make your head like backwards and to look down and to put your mascara. It's like a tip I learned from a makeup artist. So um, I think that works. Uh, to be honest, I thought that I was going to to see like you know like long and defined eyelashes like instantly and I am not like if you can see I am building the product actually uh, the only thing I'm liking is that it separates my lashes because I don't like uh, clumpy eyelashes so I think it's making a very good work separating them and I don't know if you can look my eyelash and what do you think? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm a fan or not if you are more of a natural eyelash uh, look maybe this isn't for you because the black is so black and it gives you like yeah volume a little bit and length a little bit like I think there are some mascaras out there that make like a better job I don't know so I'm going to make my other eye quick and my eyelash like the down part of the eyelash and I'm going to be back um so I'm going to use my uh well, almost the final product and I'm going to use this lip liner by Essence. This is in the shade... I don't know if this shade is... Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, 07 Cute Pink. So now I just aligned my lips and I'm going to use my kinda semi-new a uh, new MAC Satin Lipstick, this is in the shade Brave. I'm really loving this color, like, ah, look at this! So I'm going to use this one and you will be impressed because this is such a good match with the uh, pink liner, like the lip liner. I'm really liking it. So I'm going to finish up my hair and I'll be back. So, uh, this is the final look. Actually, I'm liking a lot the lipstick with the lip liner, uh, the eyeshadows, the eyeliner. Uh, I'm really liking a lot of products, my brow product as well. So, I'm going to keep you posted and thanks a lot. Hope you liked this kind of first impression video. And I'm actually planning like another one, like a very special giveaway once I hit 2,000 uh, subscribers here in my channel. So if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Bye!